This is how society collapses. This is how society collapses. What you now have happening, and I just I was shocked to discover this, is you have a ton of 304s who are now setting up shop in the Manosphere, the Passport Bro community, even in the soft guy movement, and they are using these movements to funnel men over to their adult content. There's a woman I discovered recently. Her name is Victoria Lit, and she is doing this 100%. We're going to go ahead and jump into her videos. You're going to see what's going on. And yeah, guys, she's making hardcore content and funneling men over from the manosphere at, while pretending to be a trad wife, a supporter of the Passport Kings, and a and a person who's contributing to the manosphere. Watch into the video to fully understand how serious the situation is and how this is going to affect the manosphere, the Passport Bro community, and men and women going forward. And now let's just go ahead and jump right into the very first video. Guys, this is a list of what makes a wife a good housewife. Starting off with number one. Are you guys making TikToks again? Can you fucking do the dishes or something? Oh. They're kind of piling up. You do the dishes, why don't you sweep the floor or something? Well, there's number one and number two. We gotta go. That would, yeah, that would make you yeah. good Now you guys might think, oh, wow, that's a... Uh, that's her husband. That's like the husband. Guys, that's likely the guy that she's shooting her adult content with. If you go over to if you go over to DuckDuckGo and you can put in her name, you can put in her name. Her name is Vic, uh, Victoria Lit. Victoria Lit. And I'll actually like, you know, I'll just show you her TikTok here so you guys can find it. If you search for her, if you search for her DuckDuckGo, let's put in Victoria Lit. And then you type in the word alongside her name, N-U-D-E. You will basically just do a little bit of scrolling and you will find her stuff. And it is, guys, it is it is full-blown stuff. Like, she is performing. She has, she has like, the guy that you just saw right there, that's likely one of the guys that she performs with, all right? If you notice the girl that was in the video also, she was tatted up. The girl that you guys saw in the video alongside her, both of these girls are tatted up. And I know... Yeah. You do yeah. So, you know, for example, uh, you notice the girl on the right. She's tatted up, heavily tatted up. Victoria is actually tatted up as well. She has tats all over her, her arms, and she has tats on her abdomen. She, the skirt and the and the uh, the skirt and the and her her little sweater thingy, that's just covering up. And if you notice that her um in her chest area, those look like implants. And I'm I know many of you will go, well, a lot of women have implants. Yeah, guys. This is actually a P O R N S A T S T A R. What they're doing is they're they're basically if they've they've you're they're using the concept if you can't beat them join them. So just so just like how you have a bunch of women who are angry and going after the manosphere, you have women who are now joining the manosphere, setting up shop and using it as, using it as a means to funnel the sims over to their to their content. I mean, you know, guys. You might think this is a joke, but for example, like Roma Army, you know, I've, I've, I think Chloe, I, I actually like Roma Army. I don't think she's a bad person. I think she's a decent person, you know, and I do want to, I do not want to start a war with her. Let me make it clear. I think that, I think of all, I think she's one of the better ones. I do, let me put, I'm not putting Chloe down. I am not attacking Chloe. I am not shaming Chloe in any other way. That's, that's uh, Roma Army's real name, I believe. But, uh, I just want to like talk about like for example, she was one of the first ones to start doing this, and other women are basically doing it as well. For example, if you go over go over to Roma Army's page, you know she makes twenty eight thousand one hundred and thirty dollars a month. She has eight hundred and ninety paid members, twenty eight thousand, and she makes twenty eight thousand one hundred thirty dollars a month just from her patron, just from her patron. Now, guys, something you may not know is the fact that she actually, at least previously, had tons and tons of pictures on here of herself disheveled, doing, you know, disrobed, doing, uh, you know, doing things like taking a shower. And it was like, oh, building a connection, right? I mean, guys, just look, it looks, it looks nice, but you guys have to understand, like, yeah, it's not what you really think. It's not really, like, a lot of these, a lot of, a lot of the stuff, at least previously on here, was just straight up P-O-R-N, or based, or, or bordering on that, okay? Because a lot of guys are looking for a connection. A lot of guys are looking for a connection. And they feel like if you advocate for men, you are always censored, blah, blah, blah. Okay? 
But there was a lot of, there used to be, at least previously, there was a lot of nasty stuff on here. Real nasty stuff on here. It's like MRA blog, tough topics, comedy skits, podcast, and more. Sounds nice. But previously, and, she, and she's talked about it. She's talked about the fact that she used to she used to have this, con, this type of content up. So that was just, that was 100% just the norm for Chloe. But as you guys can see, yeah, tw she's making $300,000 a year off this. At the very, like just, just from her patron alone, we don't know about Cash App, PayPal, merch. You know, she's on Twitch. She's on, uh, evidently she's on Twitch. You know, she's, we don't know about her YouTube income, how much money she's making from her YouTube videos. She could be pulling in half a million dollars a year and God bless her. I, I, like I said, I don't want to start any beef with, with with Chloe. All right, I think that she's she's one of the better ones in the community. I'm not starting any beef with Chloe, but I'm just pointing this out to you that this has been going on for a while now. And when it comes to Victoria, like she's she's literally on OnlyFools. Like if you like she like you know for example, she'll direct you over to her. She'll direct you over to her from her TikTok. It will direct you over to her. Uh, it will direct you over to her her Instagram. This is how they because guys they know how to build this is this is marketing 101. They know how to build link trees or build links, link sections. So she'll so it'll send you over to her to her uh, her her Instagram. So you find it so so you can find her Instagram. And it, look at what it says. Modern day trad wifey, Cali girl living in Texas. And but then when you look at the way that if you look at you know how she is, like <laughs> Like, look at this, guys. Arm is ca look left arm, ta heavy tats on the left arm, right arm, heavy tats on the right arm. Okay. And many of you guys are like, "Oh, this that's that's nothing. That's nothing, well, guys. Th these people are just cosplaying. This is one hundred percent cosplaying trad wife. All right, is she even married? Look at this. Look at the way she's dressing right here. Okay." And I'm not saying this is a bad way of dressing, but this is caught, guys. They are cosplaying. They are cosplaying trad wives. Me enjoying my mortgage. What are you doing this weekend? Me enjoying my mortgage. She may not even live in that house, guys. Maybe she does, but that might just be the house that she shoots in. Okay. And they know exactly what to say to, to uh, get a lot of guys like, oh, this is a good woman. Guys, these, this is just how simple men are. Men are so simple that they cannot comprehend that nothing makes sense. All right, look at this. How to win a, an argument with a woman. That's her friend again, covered up in tattoos. All right, this I guarantee you that's another only fool's person. Okay, that's another only fool's person. And and here's the thing. If you scroll up, if you go up here, you'll notice something. So she has her website, Victoria Lit Official. Now, what happens if you actually go over to Victoria Lit Official? Oh, well, I'll, I'll, I will show you. I will show you momentarily what, what, what's there. Because if you head over to Victoria Lit Official, you're going to basically see this. Victoria Lit, exclusive content, only fools. So it takes you straight over to her only fools page. And some of, and guys, I've already seen her. I've seen her stuff. It is hard stuff. Like I said, if you go over to DuckDuckGo, type in her name, Victoria Lit, and then add the word N-U-D to, to that, you will see. You'll basically just do a little bit of scrolling, and you will find her stuff. And it's it's not... It's 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 not even just like pictures, bro. It's just full. It is full on. Like she goes, she goes hard, y'all. She goes hard. When I say she goes hard, she goes hard. Okay. Oh my gosh. So the, and guys, they're they're basically promoting the passport bros, the passport kings. They're trying to act like these are like their wife material, guys. These they're infiltrated. I told you, there's a lot of simps in the manosphere because they have nowhere to go. I come across these people all day long. Tradwise. Okay, so there's a whole pool of women now who, I wouldn't call them right-wing, but they're a right-wing adjacent, you know? There are women out there now that are trad wives. They're traditional housewives. They're all hot, and they're all like, I cook every meal for my man, and the minute he gets home, I just want to please him. Some of you women out there watching this are like, OMG, I'm a trad wife. They're usually all beautiful and it's giving 50s housewife aesthetic. In the kitchen, meal prepping, maybe making a casserole, baking. They're traditional housewives. They're very modern and very attractive. They are very modern. They're very attractive. No, guys, they are, they are, these are women who are now running away. They've had their fun 
A lot of these women have had their fun in the adult industry. They've had their fun in the streets. And now they're trying to cosplay a traditional wife. But they don't want broke boys. They don't want a guy making $50,000 a year. They're all looking for the 666 guy. Guy making over six figures that has a six pack and is at least six feet tall. They're all looking for the plan B guy, but they're acting like they're tra- they're like they're acting like they're traditional women. Traditional women took what they could get. Traditional women married men who did not have a lot of money, but were able to provide a roof over their heads, clothing on their back, and food on the table. And even when and, and those things were not always perfect. They had to struggle, they had to suffer. There were times where they would not be able to eat everything that they wanted to eat. They weren't always going to have the exact meals that they wanted to have. There was a lot of struggling going on. There was a lot of hard times when it came to food, hard times when it came to the things, having the things that you wanted, times when there was no money, times when they didn't know how their family was going to survive. That's not these women. These women are cosplaying traditional women. The trad wife community, a lot of it is extremely creepy. And you can see that it's only continuing to grow. These women have, inf- have infiltrated, they have 100% infiltrated the uh, the manosphere. They have. This is the only person who truly loves you. Your parents love you because you're their child. Siblings love you because you're their sibling. Children love you because you're their parent. Spouse, however, is another level. They choose you. Never take that relationship for granted. Guys, they're playing games with us. They are... These women are playing games. They're playing games with us. They're playing games with us. They're playing games with us. I'm telling you right now, boys, they are playing games with us. And so many guys have fallen for the nonsense. They've fallen for the foolery. Okay? They've fallen for it. I know that there's a trend encouraging men to all get passports and travel abroad. It's not just for sites or good food. No, no. It's to find wives. To find women who are more traditional. They're traveling all across the world just to find women who are more humble, more feminine, and willing to treat their men better than women in the U.S. Traveling to places like Italy, Thailand, Brazil, just to find women who will treat them right. The Passport Bros ideology is that they're escaping the hatred of feminists, women, and are traveling somewhere they can thrive. They believe the ideology that by seeking foreign women, they can find a more authentic, fulfilling, and harmonious relationship. This is seen as a way to restore the natural balance between masculine and feminine energy. Now, this is triggering some women because they think that these men are interested in finding these women. They think they will be more submissive. I'm not sure if this trend slash movement is going to end or only get worse. What do you guys think? You see, guys, these women, they're guys, they're they're good. They are good. They'll start agreeing with you. They'll start saying, guys, they'll be one of the things that the MGTOWs, you know, MGTOWs used to say is that women are very good at mimicking. They they will mimic everything that men do. So what she's doing right here is she's just basically mimicking the things that men have said. She's preaching to the choir now. So now there's a bunch of men who are like, yeah, this is a good woman. She's going to, she's our, she's on our side. Guys, this is a feminist woman. I'm telling you all right now, this is, guys, feminism got them everything that they wanted. Now they're like, let's fight it together. I called it years ago. I said, women would say feminism got us everything that we wanted. Now let's fight it together. This is, but, and while the label feminism may go away, the legacy of feminism would live on. This is, guys, they're just rebranding and reselling. Okay. And a lot of these idiot guys, a lot of these men are going to run, are just doing that. They're, they're like, oh, she has an OnlyFools. I'm going to go and subscribe. And oh, I can pay to talk to her now because the, the manosphere is rife with Sims. It's filled with Sims. I would say, I would say anywhere from at least a, from a third to a half or maybe even more than half of the manosphere is filled with simps. And you're like, this that doesn't make any sense, sense angry. Yeah, guys, they have nowhere else to go. Okay, you have to understand, a lo- most men are still, most men are simps. And these men have nowhere else to go. They've been pushed out of society like all other men. So even though they're simps and they're still talking crap and they're shaming masculinity and attacking masculinity, they're right here in the manosphere. Because they have nowhere else to go. There is no other space for them in society. There is no other place where they can discuss their issues or have a voice. There's nothing else other than the manosphere. There's nothing else out there. Okay? 
because you will be attacked, you will be ashamed, you will be, you will, be, your life will be destroyed. The manosphere is not simply a place where men go to talk about women. It's a, it's a place where men go to talk about their interests, find their interests, connect on interests. It's a, guys, you'll be, you're going to be shocked when the manosphere begins to expand into gaming a lot, a lot much more, much more than it is right now. It's already very big in real estate. It's already very, very big in what, and when it comes to wealth, what you know, wealth growth and, and building wealth, it's 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 so huge because it encompasses the things that men are interested in naturally. So now, what are these women doing? They are infiltrating. They've infiltrated the manosphere and they're using the manosphere to shield their wares, while while pretending like they are virtuous women, like they're good women, like they're godly women. And if you just took, take a moment, use a little critical thinking, and ask yourself, what does a good woman look like? What does a what does a good Christian woman look like? She's not covered in tattoos. A good godly Christian woman is not covered in tattoos. She's not showing off her body in every video. She carry she carries herself differently. It doesn't mean that she's not attractive. It doesn't mean that she doesn't have a bikini picture or two on her profile. No, no, no. But a good godly Christian woman. Is not is is not dressing like a lot of these women. All right, they're not. They, they don't. They look and they tend to look more natural. Many of them will not have you know the implants that a lot of, that these women have. You have so many women that are now coming from the streets, and they're trying to rebrand themselves so that they can land a land themselves a high you know a high value man a six 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 guy. But the reality is that it's from the streets that they came and it's to the streets that they shall return. They don't want you. They don't want a guy making fifty k, making fifty k. All right. They want. They want the Plan B guy. If they are desperate, they will accept a guy that makes like seventy five k that can give them a roof over their heads and help them get back on their feet. That's what we call a come up. Okay. They don't want this man. They don't want the seventy five k guy because with rent and expenses, that guy can't really do a lot for them. All right. He can put a couple thousand dollars in their bank. You know, get them back on their feet. Help them get a bank account set up. You know, provide housing, housing for them, food and shelter for them, you know, clothing, every, you know, help them pay their cell phone bill and they can rebuild their life off this plan C guy. But they do not love this plan C guy. All right. And preferably they would be they would immediately go to the plan B guy, but they're not able to get the plan B guy. So they're going to go to the plan C guy and then use that guy as a come up so they can then go and find that millionaire because the plan B guy is the millionaire. The guy with making a million dollars a year that has a six pack. That is at least six feet tall. That is the plan B guy. That's not the guy that they love. That's the guy that they're going to build their lives off. And then you have the plan D guy. Plan D guys are plan desperate. These are the guys that make, let's say, fifty thousand dollars a year. You know, these women. They, these women. A lot of times, they'll just find these guys. A lot of these guys are like, "Oh, a woman wants to live with me," and they'll basically try to use these. They're just using these guys so that they can. Um, they're just using these guys so they can then transition to the plan C guy or plan B guy, you know, if they're, if they're able to. So basically the plan D guy, a lot of times they're not even being physically intimate with the plan D guy. They're just living with him and they kind of have him in this like weird zone where it's like they're friends, but they're not necessarily friends. And he makes it clear to them that he wants, sometimes he'll make it clear to them that he wants a relationship and they'll basically kind of tell him like, you know, just take it slow right now with me. You know, I'm just getting, you know, a lot of things have happened. So let's just go slow. This is the crap that they'll do. And then, they'll, and then they'll turn around later on and say that I told you, I didn't want a relationship. I just wanted, you know, I just wanted to be friends and you're trying to take advantage of me. You're a predator. Guys, that's how these women are. You have to use your head, guys. This is the Jezebel spirit. These women are manipulating us left and right. Basically, I said, always think the worst. Whenever you meet, some, meet, meet one of these individuals, always think the worst of them. Think the absolute worst of them. Whatever they tell you, assume it's a lie. And then try to look for the truth in the lies. And that's where you will succeed. To be real, you shouldn't be going out and meeting women in the streets, meeting women in the clubs, or really anything like that. If you ever, if you somehow meet a girl, let's say at a coffee shop or a bookstore, and that's different, and you really just want to, you talk to her, and you connect with her platonically. But if you just like just seeing a random girl and saying, "I want to walk up to this random girl and start having a conversation with this random girl," if conversation between the two of you happen naturally, that's cool. But if it's a random girl in a place, a lot of times women put themselves deliberately in these places because they're they're not there to they're not there to read the book. They're you know they're dressed a certain way. They're there waiting for a man to come and approach them. 
guys, oh my god, this women, the way women operate, the way with the they play so dirty, y'all. They play this is a get guys. As men, we were never prepared because we don't know how women operate. The game. We need, honestly, we need we need more literature. We need be- to understand how women go and attract men. We need books about this so we can study where are they going, what are they doing, stuff like that. All right, so you can spot them. It's only because I've suffered so much in life, and I and I and I begged God for wisdom. Why I'm able to begin to decipher these things, but I had to suffer a lot and I had to go through a lot and I don't know everything still. All right. I'm just still putting together a lot of things. All right. Because that's how the manosphere works. You have, you know, guys, a lot of my wisdom comes from other men. I learn, you know, smart men learn from their own mistakes and experiences. Wise men learn from their own mistakes, experiences, as well as the mistakes and experiences of other men. So that's how I I've, I've gained wisdom and that's how I'm able to build and grow very quickly and then cultivate that knowledge and share that knowledge with you and then also figure out the things that I'm seeing and be able to say you and use critical thinking because for, for example as soon as I saw this girl I'm like wow she's really pretty that's my stupid guy brain wow she's really pretty so I'm looking at her TikTok cuz I've seen her a few times I saw another video of her and I'm like let me check out her TikTok and then I look at her TikTok and I'm like but this girl is tatted. She has trad wife in her bio. And I'm like, yeah, I don't like the trad wife thing. And right. These women are just cosplaying traditional women. And then I start looking at her more closely and I see the tattoos on her, on her. And I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Most traditional women aren't tatted up like this and they don't dress like this. And so I grab her name and I go over to like her Instagram and I'm like, let me, you know, let me take her name, put that into duck, duck, go type the word N U D E with that just to see what comes up. And it doesn't take a lot until I start to find her content on there. And I'm like, wait a minute, what the heck is this? Because this is how it is with a lot of these chicks. So then I go over to Instagram and I was like, let me check her website. And lo and behold, the link just takes you straight over to her only fools. And she doesn't actually give a damn about the password kings. She doesn't give a damn about any of us. What she's doing is regurgitating. She's mimicking everything that we say. She watches our videos. She and her friends watch our videos. And then they basically create these... uh, they create videos on TikTok telling us what we want to hear, acting like they actually care about us. And, you know, like, for example, she has videos about, the, you know, about drizzle, drizzle. Guys, they know what they're doing to us. They know how they hurt us. They know how they take advantage of us. They know the hell that they put us through. They don't actually like us. These people hate us. But so all they have to do is make videos acting like, oh, my gosh, so men are treated so terribly. I guarantee you guys she treated this woman has treated men terribly. I guarantee you she's treated men like crap. I guarantee you that she has, that this is, this just looking at this individual, all right, you can tell, all right, these same person, toxic, all of that stuff. But what they do is now they're creating the content to make it look like they're angels, to make it look like they actually care about men, like they don't hate men. This is what they're doing. And then they turn around, they put it online, and, and then they go and then, and they make their money that way. You know, they get simps to come on in and then they lead the simps because, you know, the simps naturally want to know more about this person. And then they lead the simps to their link tree because that's all that it is. And, and then the sim sees the Only Fools page and they're like, oh, my gosh, she's so pretty. OK, I'm going to sign up to her Only Fools page. And I'm thinking to myself, yes, yeah, simp, she's telling you about being a traditional woman, but she's all over Only Fools. The simp doesn't care. All right. Because the simp does not have any discipline. The simp does not have any self-control. Guys, there's something new coming to the manosphere. There's something, there's a big wave happening in the manosphere right now, which is te- which is teaching men to learn how to be alone and, and discipline. A lot of you are not going to make it. I'm telling you right now, a lot of you are not going to survive what's coming. You'll, you'll keep watching the videos, but you're not going to be able to handle it. Because a big, a big things come into the manosphere. You have, you have these people who are now attacking men, saying that men who don't watch PORN are are terrorists, and it's it, it hurts women if they don't watch PORN. Why are you telling men that it hurts women if you don't watch PR, PR, PORN, or you're not in, or you're not use, or you're not um engaged in masturbation? They're going after the no fat community. You have these articles in Psychology Today saying that that it's that it's destroying men and making them more violent because they're not watching adult content and they're not in, and they're not indulging in self gratification. Does that make any sense to you guys? I made a video about this and it's like great guys, 
they're trying to destroy us. They want men who are demoralized. They want men who are weak. Because what does that stuff do? Doing it all the time, it weakens you. I'm not saying that once in a while it doesn't help, but every single day around the clock, it rewires your brain so that you that it makes you passive, it makes you lazy, it makes you demoralized, it controls you, it controls your life. So you're not out in society, and you're allowing you're allowing the the people who want to control us to do just that because you're too weak. You're men, you're too mentally weak, you're too physically weak, you're too spiritually weak, and that's it. Because men are the only ones that can stop tyranny. Men are the only ones who can stop tyranny. And so how do you, I mean, how do you destroy men? How do you destroy a country? You destroy the men. How do you destroy the men? You use the women to destroy the men. And you use the women in a multitude of ways. To use the women to, to, you use the women to destroy the men from, from all different angles, every different way. For, so, for example, on, on one front on, and on, on every single front. You know, for example, you have the you have the lady women's empowerment, so they're attacking men in society, pushing men out of society. You have women now like this woman who's basically pretending like she's a she's a she's a she's a uh, this is a, this is a chameleon, this is a chameleon and an infiltrator. And many of you won't care. You'll go and subscribe to her. This is a chameleon and an infiltrator. And you have women like her who will basically say that oh she says she sympathizes and empathizes for you, and then she gets and then she funnels you over to the adult content. Where and she's she like I said, like I've seen her work. I've actually I've seen like her videos. Like she she goes hard. Nah, bro, she goes hard. She goes hard. Like you know, the Hawk Tua, the Hawk Tua girl has nothing on her. All right. The Hawk Tua girl has nothing on her. She was the OG before she was doing this long before Miss Hawk Tua. Okay. She can teach her a thing or two from the things that I saw. You've got to be kidding me, y'all. These people are infiltrators. The state is this. These are agents of the state. They are agents of the state, and their job is to reallocate wealth and resources from men to the state. Okay, they are, and they are rewarded for doing this. They are, re, they are rewarded for helping to keep men fat, lazy, docile, and easily controllable by the state. And then, they, and they are rewarded for this. Okay. The state rewards them for this. They do it through they do it through using adult content. They do it through the court system, divorce, you know, divorce court, family court, civil court, criminal court. It doesn't matter. One way or another, the state is getting paid. Okay. No matter what, the state is winning. All right. It keeps men controlled, obedient, controlled, obedient, subs, uh, and serving and doing the will of the state, allowing the state to do whatever the hell it wants to do. Okay. This is this is this is warfare on the minds of men, on the minds of men and boys. They're not even trying to hide it anymore. Anyone with some common sense, even anyone with a little bit of common sense and the ability to reason, because most people don't have common sense anymore. Most people don't know how to use critical thinking. Most people are just, most men are, as soon as they have, you know, their belly is full and their balls are emptied, they're, they're, they, don't give a, they don't give a damn about anything else. The world could be coming to an end. There could be a meteor headed to the earth. And the only thing they would care about is if they can get their last nut off before everything goes off. All right. Before the world comes to an end. All right. They would basically, these are, these guys, I'm telling you, we are living in, we're living in Sodom and Gomorrah. Okay. Where the, their, their central focus would be 100% around getting off as much as they possibly could before the world ends. That's it. it would forget about even trying to save the world. That's for men like me. And that's for people like me. All right. Men who are aware, men who have men with discipline, men with self-control. That's for men like me. The, the the average man, they basically they don't care about any of that. They just want to make sure that their bellies are full, and that their balls are emptied before the world comes to an end. And if and if somehow a guy like me saves the world, you know, there's not going to be any thanks for that. It's like thanks, idiot. All right, so I can con now I can continue living. Now I can continue living the way I'm living because these are men who are filled with the Jezebel spirit. You have to understand, guys, this woman is of the Jezebel. She is of the Jezebel spirit. And this shows you this, the spiritual wickedness and warfare that is being leveraged against us. This is not our friend. This is our enemy. All right. They will come to you. This is how the devil will come to you. The, de the devil will come to you and the devil will speak the name of God in front of you. This is the, the devil is, and, and guys, this is how the, the devil will speak the name of God in front of you and, cro and quote scripture to you. Oh, my gosh. And then they will tell you that old Uncle Angry is doing the devil's work. And, Angry, and Uncle Angry is like, bro, this is the devil right here. 
this is the devil. The devil is deceiving you. And they'll say, you see, this man has been hurt. He has been hurt so much that he can no longer see that the devil is using him. And Uncle Angry is like, guys, this is the damn devil standing in front of you. All right? Look at, guys, that's that's the mark of the Illuminati tatted, tatted, tattooed on his neck. And and they're like, oh, oh that's, the, that's not the Illuminati. This is a burnt mark. Can you, can't you see this is a burnt mark? Everyone, do not listen to this man. This man is filled with demons. And we need to cast him out. And we need to pray for him. Guys, <laughs> I'm telling you I wasn't born yesterday. But a lot of you clearly were. Because as long as your balls are emptied and your belly is full, you will you will believe anything that you hear. Guys, this is why when they tell you like, oh, this person is, is leading in the polls. They're leading in the polls. This person is going to win. What they're trying to do is control the narrative and demoralize you so that basically when they do what they do, they either get you to not go out and vote or when they or when they steal in a, when they steal you know a um certain event then they can turn around and say well the polls clearly showed that they were leading everything showed that they were leading all right you're delusional and if and if you try to talk about it what you know we're going to put you in jail they'll fight tooth and nail to put you in jail if you even talk about it or say that or even question what you saw this is, guys, it's 100% out of 1984. And let me tell you something. Our parents, the, the baby boomers, they know exactly what's going on. They, they're, they're a part of it. A lot of people in society, they are a part of it. They participated in it. And every so often, you'll hear them come out and say things like, oh, you know, all of these public officials, they weren't even elected, all right? You know, those elections weren't even... Guys, this is these are the things that happen, and, and then and it'll cut it off, and like oh right, you'll never hear it ever again, you'll never ever hear it again, because they know that it's out there. These people participated; they were they were involved in the rigging, they were in, involved in in a lot of the in a lot of the evil things that happened. They were in, involved in cheating and in cheating and cheating the system. And then when it and when it backfires on them, they start hollering and screaming when they were the when they were a part of it because they thought they were going to get what they wanted, and now they're the ones getting screwed along with everyone else. In fact, they're getting screwed harder because while everyone while people like me were preparing in advance to get screwed because they know you know they were basically like oh we're going to have a special position in this in the government we're you know we're going to be agents and bro you're and you know what's interesting. Yuri, like your guys, forgive me. I don't remember his full name. Stop harassing me about it. He was a Russian dict, dict, uh, detractor, and he basically talked about how the United States was it was entering into a period of demoralization. This is how they control nations. This is how the Soviet Union, how they operate. You know, they, they they'll basically use demoralization so they'll demoralize a nation so that it can be taken over. And he explained the process like 40, 50 years ago, and he said that right now we were in the demoralization stage. And that's absolutely what it is. We are being demoralized so that we are easily taken over and we are easily managed. It's a hard, it's a hard thing, guys. It's a hard reality to accept. And it's something very difficult to real to say, hey, this is happening to us, but it really is. We believe in gender roles in our marriage. We're tribe wives. We believe a clean home is a happy home. We're tribe wives. Always obey our husbands. We're tribe wives. We choose to stay home. Guys, we're trad wise. We choose to stay home. Yeah, so that's it, guys. That's these are only fools' models. Look very carefully at this woman. Look at her shoulder, guys. Tats. Look at her. Look at her arm. Cover all the way from top to bottom and tats. Look at her feet, guys. Look at her feet. Covered in tats. All right. We're trad wise. We choose to stay home and support our husbands. All right. Tats. Tats. Look, guys. This is this is crazy. This is crazy, y'all. Okay. You guys were born yesterday. Many of you were born yesterday. You were not born in this century. All right. You were not, you were not, you were not born in the modern day era. You were born yesterday because you cannot see this, guys. Look at this. They don't even, they don't even own that house, probably. That's where they that's where they shoot their content. And support our husbands. Proud wives. We all she has videos, guys, of her like chopping of like her like making food and chopping things up like she's doing meal prep. Guys, this is the this is the house where they're getting where they're getting um you know, everything is getting blown out. Always have dinner ready when our husbands get off work. Trad wives, we always satisfy our husband's needs. Look at that, guys. Look at her arm. Look at her chest. All right. Look at her shoulder. Heavy tattoos. All right. Heavy tats. Look at that arm. Heavy tats. Look at her legs. 
heavy tats. They are covered in tats. These are only fools models. I literally showed you this girl's only fools page. It's crack wives. We would have been caught dead in a bar or club without our husband. Crack wives. We always respect and appreciate our husband wives. We always be caught dead. We wouldn't guys. She's tatted up. This girl is tatted up. We wouldn't be caught dead in a bar or a club without our husbands. Someone who is tatted up like this. You have an Only Fools page. Oh my gosh. In a bar or club without our husband. Track wise, we always respect and appreciate our husbands for their hard work. Guys, these guys, the, these are these are the these are the feminists, guys. I just want you to know, guys, these are feminists. These are feminist guys. They got you. They got all of you so good. All right. They got you so good. So, guys, only people like Uncle Angry, only people like Uncle Angry know what's up. No, realize just how hardly how hard we're getting screwed. How how much these women are like pulling the wool over our faces. All right. House is the only person who truly loves you. Your parents love you because you're their child. Siblings love you because you're their sibling. Children love you because you're their parent. Guys, they are. It's guys. Women know exactly what they've been doing. All right. They these are they are adults, but they are. But guys, it's it's a form of evil. It's an extreme form of evil. I am not saying that women are evil, but but it's very easy for women to be consumed by evil and to do the work of the wicked one and do the one of the evil one. You know, George Orwell, he taught he talked about this in his book, 1980 in 1984. He actually talked about, you know, that how women were the ones who who were who were the women were the ones who most easily became um were, would become agents of the state. And this is something that this is something that a lot of you do not comprehend. You don't comprehend it because you don't want to comprehend it. And of course, I have idiots who are like, how dare you not want to date in my comments? How dare you want not, you guys not want to date or marry in Western society when there's so much one, so many wonderful women in America? Check this out. Here's what he says. This is from George Orwell. It's a quote. He says, it was always the women and above all the young ones who were the most bigoted adherents of the party, the swallowers of slogans, the amateur spies. 1984, George Orwell. This is a quote from his book, okay? Ministry of Truth and all that other stuff, okay? He called us, that book was written in 1949, and that was 75 years ago, where he predicted that this was happening, that women were doing this in society, guys. They are playing the hell out of us. They have been playing the hell out of us for ages, and we did not know, we didn't realize it. We didn't think about it. All right, because guys, it's so easy to get fooled. Like this, that's guys, this is her only fool's page. All right. Look, exclusive content. And what and what are guys? Ex, you know, only fools, Instagram, TikTok. Guys, she uses her TikTok to get people to go to her Instagram. She uses her Instagram with the link in her Instagram to get people to go to her website, Victoria Lit Official. And then she uses her website, which is basically just a link tree to get people to go to her only fools. And then and there she sells them. That's where that's where she sells them her 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 um her adult content, her crap. It's crazy. All right. It's absolute, it's absolutely insane what we are seeing. Absolutely insane. Her real name is probably not even Victoria. Notice Victoria or Tori. Yeah, that's that, that's guys. Just like how you have uh, Riley Reed, and her real name is not even Riley. Okay, or Reed. That's just her performer name. Her 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 real name is uh, what the hell is her real name? Her name is her real name is something like Ashley Be Ashley something or Ashley something. Her real name is Ashley. Ashley. Okay, but I'll tell you right now. Just like Batman. Just like just like. Bruce Wayne is just a mask that Batman wears. You know, he's really Batman. R okay. Ashley is just a mask that Riley Reed wears because she is really Riley Reed and she will always be Riley Reed because she will always be for the streets. These guys, these women, these women, these women. Oh my gosh. They pulled, they really pulled a fast one over on a lot of guys. They really, really pulled a fast one over a lot of guys. And most men are still not ready for it. They don't want to accept that they've been fooled. They don't want to be fooled. 
They don't want they don't want to accept that they've been fooled. In fact, they don't care that they've been fooled. And they will even try to fool other men as long as their basic carnal needs are met. Okay? That's why you're going to have a lot of stuff about discipline coming in the manosphere. Discipline and learning how to be alone. All right? Men have to learn these things because that's how these that's how men end up getting trapped into a cycle of crap. That's how men end up getting screwed over. That's how men get end up getting taken advantage of because they're too afraid to be alone. All right? Guys, women have I'm going to tell you, they have women a lot have a lot women have the edge on us because Men will believe in them. A man would watch a video videos from a woman like this and think that she's a good woman and she's a virtuous woman, and she's a godly woman, and he would not even do a little bit of research and just cl and click a little bit further to see that she's just using the passport king community and using the manosphere as a whole, drizzle drizzle movement, and putting videos together that make it looks like make it looks like look like she's a she's a good wife and so forth. Guys, this woman made her is probably not even married. And she's making bank. Like, this girl might be a millionaire. When you look at the amount of people that are following her on, you know, following her on that platform, those guys came over from the Passport King community. Those guys came over from the drizzle, from drizzle, drizzle. Those guys came over from the Manosphere. That's why I told you the Manosphere is rife with simps. This is only going to lead to more men being, pu being pulled in to the toxic web of adult content and being used by these types of women who are just trying to prey upon them and use them, okay? Because a lot of men have no self-control. They have no control over their finances, over their eating, over their desires. The only thing that they care about is money and getting laid, okay? They care about nothing else. Never underestimate just how stupid most people are. George Carlin said something very interesting. He said, you know, imagine the dumbest person you know, and then and then consider that half of the people out there are dumber than that. Like that's just how dumb most people are. Most it doesn't well, guys, some of the smartest so-called smartest people, by the way, for example, they can do calculus are also some of the dumbest people because they cannot use a shred of critical thinking. And then most people can't even do most people can't do either. They can't do either. Because the average person is extremely stupid, extremely stupid, and they just want their carnal needs met. That's why we have a system right now. We have a society that's crumbling because the people amongst us who either don't want to do anything or claim they can't do anything, which is total BS, want to receive things like a livable wage while everyone else has to fight for their survival. And then they call it kindness. The people around us know what's going on because they're responsible for this, guys. They've helped to create this system, this nasty, evil system that we live under, this tyrannical system that we live under. They've created, they've they have helped to create it, they've built it, they love it, and they're and 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 then they're not going to stop. They're absolutely not gonna stop. Guys. I want to share something with you guys. I've been telling you about my Substacks, my ang the Angry Guy, uh, the Angry Guy Clubhouse, and it's really awesome. This is what the Angry Guy Clubhouse looks like, guys. You can actually check it out. There's a link to the Angry Guy Clubhouse in the description of the video, and the Angry Guy Clubhouse is really neat because on the Angry Guy Clubhouse, you know, you can uh, you get access to you can dive into our podcast. We have things like Gen X stories, a lot more on there. You also get a copy of the free, our free digital nomad blueprint. But I want to give you just like, you know, show you around a little bit. So there's our, if you look at the top of the, of the website, we have our podcast. We also have a note section so you can check out some of the notes I've written and said. We have a chat area so you can, can actually reach out to me via chat. And not only, and then we have chat threads. So it's kind of like a forum and we can talk about different subjects there. We have extended videos. So for example, if we click on extended videos, you'll see that there are actually videos here that are not available on YouTube or they are extended videos from uh, videos made on YouTube. So, so for example, there are some videos on YouTube that they ended, let's say, after 15 minutes or after 20 minutes, and these videos went on for, let's say, 30 minutes. So we have extended videos on there or exclusive videos. And then we also have guides on in here as well. So if you're a paid member, it's only $8 to join. You actually get access to all of our guides. You have video, you have guides like how to build a thriving business empire and have fun doing it. 
You have Mark Cuban's billionaire blueprint from mac and cheese to millions. We have unlock your path to passive income with our complete affiliate marketing guide for be beginners. You get all of, guys, you get all of this, all of this when you when you become a paid member, and it's only eight dollars a month. But again, everything is for most out. Virtually everything is on free, is free on here, so you can actually unlock a lot of this stuff. The blueprint, the blueprint for escaping the rat race, yeah, all of that is on there. We I put I put articles on here daily. So for example, if you want to start your own, if you want to start your own website like this, you know this is one of the most recent ones that I released: how to grow your Substacks like a pro. Tips from the trenches. This is how to build how to build out your entire your own platform like this, and you get access, guys. You actually get to control everything on here. But this is this is the website, guys. This is the Angry Guy Clubhouse. You know, for example, here's this, here's an article that I put up for you guys. The Dark Ages were orchestrated. You can go and read that. That's really really awesome. The one of my this is a one of my most this is an exclusive video right here. So this is a video that's exclusive to the uh, Angry Guy Clubhouse. The Boomer Apocalypse: How One Generation Sold Us Out. Okay, if we you know for Gen Xers, like I said, we do have some Gen X stuff on here. The Silent Rage of Gen X, Forge in the Fires of Reality. We have other stuff that will interest guys. Because, guys, we are, like, that's the manager. We we have so many thoughts and ideas. One of my favorite ones is Thanos' Blunder, Why a Population Cap Would Have Saved the Universe. This actually came from a subscriber, and we made it into a full-blown, uh, we made this into a full-blown article for you guys. You know, we have an article around here, Men Going Their Own Way, How It Has Robbed Women of Their Futures. Men staying home and just uh, home and just watching society burn, you know, is DEI backfiring? The unintended consequences on women in society, you know, Gen X grew up alone and surrounded by danger. These are just some of the articles. These are some of the articles and videos. So we have articles, we have videos, we have podcasts. If we head over to the podcast section, you can see our podcast section right here. Okay. Tons of great stuff. And you also have access to the archive. So you can go over to the archive. And here's the archive. And you have tons, tons, and tons of content in the archive to just go through it. I, again, I drop daily content here. 99% of the content on here is free. And if you're a paid member, you get access to the guides. And I even put out, and I do put out, I do put out guides that are also free as well. So you get access to so much. You can also support me on the platform. So if you want to support the content I'm putting out on YouTube, you can go and become, you can join the Angry Guy Clubhouse. And you also have an option to become a founding member. And founding members actually get special perks on here as well. So that's something that you can check out. And you can also set whatever limits you want to give, you want to contribute. But it's it's really cool. So go and check this out. You know, the Angry Guy Clubhouse is linked in the description of the video. Go check it out. Subscribe to the Clubhouse. Support the content. But, yeah, guys, I mean, women made this decision for themselves. They said that, men, we don't want you. Men, we're just, you know, we just want our bag. And now this is where men are. This is, this is the reality of it. This is the aftermath that we're looking at. Men have to wake up and realize that she never liked you. She never loved you. She just wanted. She just wanted your toys. She just wanted your. She just one hundred percent wanted your toys. There's another guys. Here's another video that comes from Matt, uh, Man Reacts, where she's in the video, and you know she basically is like talking about. She even talks about some of this stuff further. So other content creators like Man Reacts are featuring this woman. You know, I was in, I was not gonna play the video, but maybe I'll play the video because when I play these videos. You know, I have to do like attribution, but I'll play the damn video and then give him his credit. So here's a man react so much that they are all now banding together to enter their soft guy era. You bullied them and said that they're toxic if they're too masculine. And being a tough guy or a macho manly guy isn't gonna work for a woman. Well, you bullied them and it worked. And guess what? You aren't gonna be happy about the monsters you create sorry, beautiful monsters you created with all this drizzle, drizzle, soft guy. Energy entering the chat. Well, guess what, ladies? Who's gonna take out the garbage? The guys have all joined a pack together and said, it's your job to take out the garbage. Who's gonna be the passenger princess? Not you, it's him. All of these guys are joining together to now be in their soft guy era. And I don't think it's gonna change. In fact, expect more sass. Just when you thought you had too much sass in a relationship, just being you, more sass has entered. Let me explain it to you in plain, factual words, women. If you even have an average appearance, 
If you had all the fundamental human qualities that any normal woman should possess, not being overweight, not having visible tattoos, being committed, having a kind heart, and being nice and not crazy, a good man would have found you long ago. The simple fact that you are by yourself says a lot about you. Guys, I want you to understand. So not only is she on the Man Reacts channel, she's also on Manosphere Highlights daily. So it looks like this guy took the video. Man Reacts took the video from Manosphere Highlights daily. And do you see what so she's spreading throughout the she's spreading throughout the Manosphere. Men are gonna to want to find out who the heck she is. So they're gonna go and look for her. They're gonna watch her videos and think that she's a good woman. They're gonna to go to her Instagram and think she's a good woman. Then they're gonna find her link tree and find her insta for her and find her only fools they're then they're gonna sign it's free guys it's totally free so then they're gonna sign up for her only for her only fools and then you're gonna have some a bunch of men on the other end that are quickly converting these men into paid subscribers and followers and then she'll basically talk to them and give them the love that they so desire you know because no one loves them men just want man just wants to be loved guys it's, just, it's all about taking advantage of us and taking our money or except uh, pushing us further away from God and into the arms of the of the wicked one. This is the Je guys. This is the Jezebel. This is the Jezebel, guys. They'll tell you Uncle Angry is crazy. They'll tell you guys. They'll call me. They'll call me crazy, but they won't call me a liar. And they'll tell you. And when you say, "Well, what about all the evidence?" They'll tell you to do. They'll tell you do not believe your ear. Do not do not believe your ears, and definitely don't believe your eyes. Okay. Only believe what we told you. That's something out of 1984, where you are told in 1984 not to believe the things that you are seeing or hearing, but only the things that you are told by the state. Okay? This woman will try to actually come and argue me under the table and try to and and, and Sims, some of you will try to tell would try to argue with me and tell me that I'm delusional, guys. I'm showing you exactly what it is. All right, but many of you aren't ready for it. I guarantee you there are gonna be the Sims in the comments who are like Oh, that you're a hurt man, or that's a baddie right there. Oh well, if you don't want them, I'll take them. You guys are a bunch of your 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 gay guys. This is what the Sims are going to come with. All right, they have nothing else. They have no other tools other than using tools of sign language. Okay, shame, insults, guilt, gaslighting, nagging because they need to be right. And when they're caught red-handed, they will tell you that what you're seeing is a lie. All right. And they will threaten you with imprisonment and incarceration and try to. That's the reason why they're throwing, why they're now arresting young men, boys and men in the UK, if they believe that they're even susceptible to the influence of extreme misogyny or the manosphere, because they don't want men to be strong. They don't want men to be alert. They want their tyranny to go over without a hitch. And modern women are agents of the state. So they are there facilitating this and making it a reality. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Soft guy era today is a direct response of men who are sick of women trying to use them for their resources. It's now the era of the men to pay it all back by making sure they're well taken care of. Guys, well taken care of by their women. Guys, these women are these these women are now just leveraging the manosphere. All right, they're setting up shop in the manosphere and using it to get their to get wealth and resources for men. Look at what Roma Army did, and like I said, I do not want that smoke from Chloe. I don't know if she's still selling pictures or not. I don't know. I don't care. I do not want her Sims to come after me and to try to destroy my life. And I think Chloe is an all right person overall. I don't want to fight with her, guys. Like, do you see that? I don't want to like, guys. I don't want to like. She's that big right now. She is so huge. She is, she is such a large part of the manosphere. She has such a large following that I do not want her demonic her demonic forces to come after me and call me a hurt man and blah 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 and, you know and try to destroy my life. Okay, but that's just to show you how powerful these women are becoming after they set up shop. And I'm not again. I think Chloe is an all right person. I don't know. I hope she doesn't come after me. But I'm just trying to show, like just trying to show you. What's going on? And you can basically just like type her name into like duck 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 go if you think I'm lying, like like just like Google Roma Army or just before I find out her full name and then like just type the word leaked leaked in there, leaked N U D E S S and you'll you'll be you'll basically find what I'm talking about. And and, and this is it's just right there for everyone to see. And again, I'm just telling you guys. I guess it was just a bit of critical thinking and common sense. Most people don't have that today. This is the reason why Gen X. Gen X are born survivors. We're the last generation of people with critical thinking. We're the last generation of people that can say, hmm, let me just reason for a little bit. You know, I'm not going to believe everything that I'm seeing or hearing. 
And instead, I'm just going to say, let's say all of this is a lie. And now let's try to look for the truth and the lies. Okay. And once you assume that everything is a lie, you look at things differently because now you're looking at everything critically. You're looking at this person as a liar and you're going to start to notice things. Oh, yeah. Look at the tattoo on her. Look at the big boobs on her. You know, look at look at the this this house doesn't even look like someone lives there. It looks like it's rented. You know, people who live in an actual house, it's not going to be that tidy. There's going to be things all over. There's going to be more furniture in there. All right. This looks like this looks like a set for a porno. You're going to start to use your heads. You're going to start to rationalize and put things together. All right. But when you start, when you believe, when you believe people and you assume that people, that people are telling the truth and then you try to look for the lies and the truth, that's when, no, no, no. When you start looking for the, when you start trying to look for the lies and the truth, that's when you're screwed. All right. You have to assume that it's all a lie from the very beginning. And some people are like, that's a very cynical way of thinking. That's a very cynical way of looking at things. That's guys, those people. Those people are the ones that want to keep you locked down. All right. They're going to tell guys, you're going to have the symptoms in my comments. who are going to say that, that what I'm spreading is H A T E and so forth. And they, cause they don't want the message out there. They want to silence old uncle angry. Cause uncle angry is awake to the, to the BS. Uncle angry can see through it. All right. Cause guess what? I've learned from other men. I've learned from my own mistakes. I've learned from, I've learned from my mistakes. I've learned from my experiences, and I've learned from the mistakes and experiences of other men. So I, that's the reason why I've been able to develop my my way of critical thinking, and through my suffering, I've been able to learn things as well. Because you're forced to confront the things and the realities that you did not want to accept or look at. You're for guys. You're forced to realize that it's because of a lack of discipline in our lives and a fear of being alone why so many of us end up in the positions that we do. The, so much, the greatest power that you have is knowing how to control yourself, your desire, your emotions, and more so being able to say no and walk away. Knowing how to walk away and knowing how to say no. A lot of men are afraid to say no. A lot of men are afraid to walk away. A lot of men do not even know what the concept is of maintaining a masculine frame because we were never taught how to do this. Let me tell you something. I remember a story I read online and some guy basically wrote that when he was growing up, he had like an uncle and he said he used to go out to the woods with his uncle and he said he loved it. And his uncle would teach him things out there. He would teach him how to act like a man. He would teach him how to maintain a masculine frame. He would teach him how to survive, how to be alone with himself and his thoughts, and how to develop inner peace. This is the reason why the Spartans would separate the men, the, 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 the boys, from their mothers when they reached a certain age. The boys would be taken away from the mothers, and it would be taught how to control their emotions. They would be taught how to develop a masculine frame. They would be taught how to think like a man. They would be given a sword and told, go and fight. They would be taken out into the wilderness and they would be conditioned to hunt and to, to, and, and to process food, all right? And boy, and listen to me, if you were a weakling, then you said, hey, man, you, you, you're just not going to make it. But that's how it was because they knew that if they did not condition and raise those boys right, those those boys would not be able to survive in society. They would not be able to survive into the future because the, the world is a cold, hard, wicked place. This is a wicked, guys, this is a wicked world that we live in. This is a very, very evil world that we live in. It's a world that wants to destroy you. It is a world that hates you. It is a world that does not want you to exist, especially as a man especially as a man, a heterosexual man, they want to control you because you are the only ones who can stop tyranny. Not the countless good guys you've laughed at, passed over, and refused to even give a second glance in the past. Since you rejected them all and chose the bad boys who hurt you and left you, you're left wondering, where are all the nice guys? They're well settled with the women who liked them for who they were. Watch this before you scroll. My boyfriend broke up with me because I forgot to send him his daily allowance for his soft guy era of $5,000. I only sent him $2,000 and he told me that it was giving broke and he deserves so much more. Last week, I got him a new Lexus and he told me that kings don't drive Lexuses, that he was expecting a Mercedes Benz S Class and that it wasn't good enough because he knows his worth. And of course, I don't love him enough if I don't understand that.
Last night, I tried to plan a date to Bonefish Grill, but he told me only Capital Grill. So he made me pay for an Uber to take him home because he absolutely refused to be there with me. He told me he only deserves the best because his mom always gave him the best. And he deserves Prince treatment all of the time. Okay, guys, what do you think about it, honestly? Let me know in the comments and don't forget subscribe. Here's the raw truth. The most expensive way to keep a woman is in the form of a wife. Think about it. Putting aside the need for friendship and companionship, physical relations with an escort is a financial transaction, but an honest one. She does not pretend to care or love you as a wife does. She does not need to lie. She wants your money, you, her body. You're both very clear about it. You pay for something specific and you get it. We all pay one way or another. I will say this, guys. A lot of the relationships, that I'm not saying it's a good thing, and you can waste a lot of money doing this, but you will often find that the relationship you have with an escort is much better than the relationship that you have with a woman. Granted, of course, she's giving you the GFE experience. She's giving you a certain experience where if you were just talking to her in the streets, she would never even give you the time of day. But in the reality, you're seeing her at, her, at who she really is, all right? This is who they are. They're not special. There's nothing special about them. You know, I remember, guys, tell you a story. I had a cousin, you know, I think she's still around. And, you know, she was, I heard that she was working at a bar and walking around with like two phones. And I basically said to her, listen, I know you're selling butt. I know you are selling your butt. And she goes, I'm not doing that. I'm like, I know you're doing it. Stop lying to me. I'm not doing that. I know you're lying to me. Do not lie to me. And I will never forget. This was over 10 years ago. She And then she just looks at me and she goes, well, I guess every girl sells pussy once in their lives. Y'all, never, ever trust them. Never, ever trust them. Okay? That's what she, she literally said that to me. I guess every girl sells it once in her life. And then when, and when she said it, she had this look of, like of, of ecstasy on her face. Like she was like, it was, she felt so good about it and happy about it. It was like, she, it was like, she was just like remembering how wonderful it felt. When you, when you're with these women, you basically see them and their true nature, who they are. They're not on a pedestal. All right. They are basically just there selling and, and basically you're getting what you want. You get what they get, what they want. And then you move on. It's just an exchange. The men that actually get it for free are the Chad and Tyrones. Those are the men that they actually love. Those are the men that they actually want and desire. Everyone else is a plan B guy. Everyone else is a plan B guy. All right? And that's why you have to wake up to it. When you go to the Philippines and you get, in, and you get into a relationship with a Filipina, a lot of you think that you are, that the Filipina loves you and all of this crap. You don't realize that a lot of these women... These Filipinas are so are so good at what they do. They will make you feel loved and accepted and like you have a good home and they will go to go to events with you and everything and even have children for you. They will even have your baby and thank you and do all of these things. And they've already broken up with you in their minds years ago. And they're doing all of the same things that a wife and a happy family would do. That woman has already broken up with you years ago in her mind. Okay? Years ago, and she's just riding it out until she can cut you loose. Guys, so many men have are married to women who broke up with them decades ago. That bro that woman broke up with you decades ago. That woman broke up with you 40 years ago. There was a judge. Many of you guys have seen the story about a judge. And he was online crying, a retired judge, and he was online crying about it. That you know, I think it was 40 years, like. His wife of forty after forty years of marriage, I don't know if it was it was it forty years, it was forty years or fifty years of marriage. He discovered that none of his kids were his own, and this was a judge, and his wife did this. That woman had broken up with him decades ago. She had broken up with this man forty or fifty years ago. But he did not understand the concept because just because she does not leave the relationship, it doesn't mean that she's actually in a relationship with you. She will use the relate the concept of a relationship against you 
to keep you confined to doing what you're supposed to do as a husband. But she will, and she will pretend to do. She will, she will pretend that that she's still in something with you by doing the things that she's that she's supposed to do as a wife. In many cases, they'll do the bare minimum or nothing at all. But because of the contract and the belief that you are you're that you're in a relationship with her. You know, you think that you're still there, that, that that you're still man and wife, and you're trying to save that marriage when that marriage has been over for a very long time. And she's had her man or men on the side for men for, for so long, and you didn't know any of these things because you don't understand the way that women think and the way that um, women operate. Women are kind of messed up. And women will never tell you the truth about how they think and operate because for them to tell you the truth about women, it would mean that they would have to be, they would basically be telling on themselves, which is interesting though, because if you give a woman just in a, if you give a woman enough time or right, let them speak long enough, if you let a woman speak long enough, she will tell on herself. Just like the example of my cousin, I told you when I just kept calling her on it and she finally just said, well, I guess every girl does it once in her life. Guys, like I said, if you're enjoying the content, go and check out our sub stacks. It's a great community. You know, there's tons of articles over there. I write, put out new content over there on a daily basis. If you want to support the channel, you can also become, join, become a member over there. And most of it's free. 99% of everything on here is free. And this for this podcast. So some of this, you know, there are videos. There are extended videos of videos on YouTube here. There are guys. So for those of you that want to learn how to, you know, build wealth, how to build a thriving and bis thriving business empire, you can go and, you know, you can go and join up. Mark Cuban's Biz Billionaire Brew Blueprint from Mac and Cheese. You know, ever wondered how to join the Billionaire Club? Guys, this is a very good read on there. All right, unlock your path to passive income with our complete fine affiliate marketing guide for beginners. You know, we're adding new stuff for Passport Kings every day as well. The Blueprint for Escaping the Rat Race, a free Blueprint for Escape. Guys, all of that's on there. And on top of that, you know, when you join, when you do sign up for it, you also get, and this is completely free, you also get our free Digital Nomad Blueprint. That goes right to your inbox. Some of you guys gave me feedback. You were like, angry, where's the blueprint? And it was right in the email. So what we've done now is we put the we put the blueprint right at the very top of the welcome email. So when you sign up, you will immediately get that email. You'll get it straight to your inbox. And it will be at the top of your it'll be at the top of your in it'll be at the top of your uh top of the welcome email because we're gonna send a welcome email to you. And I'll be right there. You can click on it. You can get it and start using it so that you can, you know, get, you know, basically begin preparing for the future, building up your business and building up your brand because it is hell out there. It is hell on earth. And if you don't realize that, then you're going to be in a world of pain. All right. Because because right now we are heading towards a total social collapse. And you can see that, you know, society does not want society does not like us. It does not want us. It wants to destroy us. It wants to make us fat. It wants to make us sick. It wants to make us undisciplined. It wants to keep us as emotional. Being able to control your emotions, that's a superpower for men. If you're a man who can control your emotions, you can, guys, you will become more powerful than you ever realized, able to get through almost anything that life throws at you. If you can control your emotions as a man, it can get you through almost anything in life. Why not make it an honest transaction? Instead of creating fake scenarios where you waste your time, energy and resources. The whole reason Western countries are dealing with a horrendous dating market is for one simple fact. Most Western countries have stacked the odds so heavily in women's favor and have given them all the power with no counterbalance. As a matter of fact, they have made the natural counterbalance illegal. That counterbalance is professional intimacy services. If that was legal in Western countries, there is no way that women would act the way they do. The dating market would be a completely different place. Only fans would not exist. Women would be on their best behavior at all times in order to get and keep a man. Feminists would be completely ignored by both men and women. And the adult film industry would dry up overnight. You don't see countries with legalized professional intimacy services complaining about dating. There should be mandatory paternity tests for all births, and alimony should be banned, and there should be a $1.500 limit per child each month in child support, regardless of income. You have to understand the reason why the system is set up this way is because it's about extracting as much wealth and as much wealth and resources from men and reallocating it to the state. And then women are rewarded for doing this because they are agents of the state, just like Sims. Sims are agents of the state. 
by being agents of the state, sims get access to women, they get access to resources, they get access to government funds, they get access to many different things. This is how they survive in society. It's something that Jordan Peterson talk, spoke about. You know what's interesting about, about Jordan Peterson? He's not entirely a friend of mankind, and I'll tell you, not a friend of men. At first, he criticized the MGTOWs, which is interesting. And then after criticizing them, he goes, oh, me, you know, I regret criticizing them, okay? G guys, his, his, his little girl went over to Romania to get her back blown out by Andrew Tate, okay? And we all know that happened. There's a picture of her sitting with Andrew, and his arm is wrapped around her ass. And Jordan is like, uh, she's she's there with her father, telling her father in a, in a video that oh, a lot of people think that she went over there and and hooked up with Andrew, and it's not true. And then Jordan goes, "Do you regret? You know, do you regret um the decision that you made?" Blah 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 blah. And he knows when his daughter is like, he's a good psychologist. He's a good psychologist, so he knows how to uh, he knows how to figure out when a person is lying. He and, and he raised that girl as well, so he knows that she's a damn liar. And he would allow her to sit there and lie to everyone and then act like he's a friend to men. He also doesn't talk about the nature of women. This is something that people like him steer away from. It's even guys like psych hacks. They don't exactly want to talk about the fact that women are drawn to evil. If you look at what's happening, women are reading. There's like this entire, like they're basically putting an entire segment of books at places like Barnes and Noble out in the open right now that are about women having, uh, f being physically intimate with demons and Satan, and even Satan himself, or demon-possessed men, or men who are named after demons. What the hell does that tell you? Demon hearts, or witchcraft, or books on witchcraft, all right? Women are, guys, this is, this is the reality of it, okay? You need to follow Jesus. You need to develop some discipline, get, all right? You need to take care of yourself, get your finances in check, you need to learn self-control, and you need to learn how to be alone. And these are big things that are going to be coming into the manosphere. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Because do you agree this is how society collapses? What do you think about this whole thing with this girl? With this girl, this woman who's basically posing as a trad con wife. Like, boy, oh, boy, guys, is she hitting all her nails? All the nails. She's trad con wife, passport king community, soft guy era. Oh, my, men walking away. Holy cow, is she, guys, is she putting, she has been watching that content and putting out something for each of the different communities in the Manosphere as a whole. She is not messing around, guys. But let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments. Are you surprised? Are you shocked that this is happening? Let me know your thoughts. We'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.